And Roland is here now to talk about the weather. And yesterday it was a little cool out in the wind. I know it was yeah. in the 50s. It felt more like the 40s out there. It was blowing hard. Now, now today is still a little bit on the cool side because we've had that northwest breeze. Temperatures yesterday hit the low 60s. Today, with that northwest flow, temperature readings have only been in the mid to the upper 50s. But once we lose that northwest breeze tomorrow, all of a sudden temperature readings are going to start shooting up. Look at this beautiful direct sunlight we're getting over Redfish Lake license right now. This is just a perfect scenario and a wonderful way to start uh, the week as we go into the middle and latter part of the week. If you like sunny skies, and you like warm temperatures, you're going to like this forecast. So sunny skies are expected with a big warming trend and it's going to be mostly dry through the weekend. We may see a little more cloud cover every now and then here and there on Friday and or excuse me, Saturday and Sunday, part the cloudy skies, but I see no storms all the way through the weekend and it looks like the next storm will hold off until the first of next week. So high temperatures so far today at 55 degrees with an average of now up to 60 degrees. So climatologically speaking, this is where we're supposed to be for daytime highs and the record for this date stands at 80 degrees set back in 1960. We may be approaching temperature readings like this by the end of the week. Now on the Doppler radar, just a couple of showers out here across Montana, Wyoming, moving out into the northern Plain states. But look at how dry it is across the entire state. That is the influence of that high pressure that's starting to build in. Check it out on the satellite imagery. You'll notice that the clouds are being pushed up here to the north. There's the ridge of that high pressure that's starting to build. And the stronger the high gets, the warmer the temperatures go. And this high is going to be fairly strong, especially by Friday. So temperature readings each day will continue to get warmer and warmer so that by the end of the week, we'll be seeing those temperature readings easily in the mid to the upper 70s range with the possibility that we may see some high temperatures near record highs of 80 degrees for this time of the year. On the future cast, we see dry conditions, high pressure pushing the clouds to the north through the day tomorrow and even into Thursday again. That is that gorgeous scenario associated with that high. Would like to see a little shower activity every now and then, but for right now, it looks like we're just not getting any, and it looks like we hold off until about Tuesday to see some of those showers. But for the seven-day forecast, if you want a nice dry stretch of weather this week and you want some sunshine and mild temperature readings over the weekend, this is your forecast. Highs tomorrow, 70 degrees. On Thursday, 77. On Friday, 79 degrees. I think Friday is going to be the warmest day. Then on Saturday, we'll still keep it on the toasty side. All these temperature readings you're seeing here in the mid to the upper 70s, that's about 15 to nearly 20 degrees warmer than normal for this time of the year. The mountains will see temperatures in the 50s tomorrow. Then we'll jump it up into the 60s on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And there's that potential for a storm, but probably not until about Tuesday of next week. So as far as the forecast is concerned, I don't mind it too much. I would like to see some shower activity every now and then, but right now it's it's a dry pattern for the next five to seven days. The grass is really greening up. Yes, everything's starting yeah. to green up in the it's valley. Wonderful. It's beautiful. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at